everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division between these two great warriors. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You know what to do. Let's touch gloves. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxers are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A good block. Way to block there. Blocked by bad intentions. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America we lose touch of that, but boxing is such a global sport, and every little region of the country defines its fighters differently, and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're gonna get a fighter who's a little cruder, and he's gonna have to be more physical because, you know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball, or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits in somebody's background or preparation. Good looking counter punch. Counter by Smith. Now he's getting into a groove. You can tell he just landed a three punch combination. And he's able to land consecutive shots. Well done by Smith. Blocks that belt line well. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Smith. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Smith. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Gonzalez. Good looking right hand after he got hit. <laughs> On the mark, the counter punch by Smith.
hefty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by Smith. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Smith. And a smart counter punch by Smith. Smith's got the right idea right here. He cannot be swarmed and smothered like it's a wet blanket with his opponent draped on him. He needs to create that space. He has to push off. Solid right hands headline that exchange. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. A nice block by bad intentions. Devastating blow by bad intentions. What a chin. And hey, can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? Keep moving, keep moving. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. End of the round here. A round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. And round number three is underway. Gets rid of that effort. What a good counterpunch by bad intentions. Teddy, is it possible that he didn't respect this fighter coming into the fight? Now, I know a lot of people would say, yeah, he's ahead on the scorecards. But you can just see the style of fight that this is, that he's being tested. Yeah, I think it's a combination of two things. This guy being better than his record would indicate, and what you touched on, that he's a human being like anybody else. We look at the guy's record, we think of what kind of fight it's going to be. He looked at it, he thought it was going to be a little easier than it's turning out. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Keep working the box. Wow, is he defensively sound? Well-placed counterpunch by Smith. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counterpunch by Smith. Misses his opponent's headshot. And a good counter by Smith. Very clean offense from defense by bad intentions. Gonzalez's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A+. Plus.
Ten seconds to go in this third round. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. Here we go with the fourth round. Great movement to get away from those punches. Punched by Smith. Move, move. Well placed counter punch by Smith. Oh, good stuff there. Two in a row by Smith. That's a good block by Smith. Good looking counter punch. He's doing a really nice job here on the outside. He's staying safe. He is away from his opponent's danger zone, but yet he's able to accomplish things offensively. Yeah, he's getting full extension on his punches is what you're basically saying, Joe. He's doing a good job of that. If he threw his punches from a little too close, he would get time. So he's making sure he's at the right place when he first gets those punches moving. Going to fourth. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. it takes what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace the action's been non-stop now the one thing i can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace you don't think about pace otherwise you could not be doing what these guys are doing they're just going round to round very clever move there a little defense turns to offense the counter punch by smith Combination. 
combination by Smith. moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say tune in everybody should be watching this right i have a cell phone i might do that right <laughs> now <laughs> start dialing <laughs> solid counter punch by bad intentions Blood coming from his nose. Blocks that punch. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because... Maybe in his mind, that means the guy is throw hard back at him. Right, now that's some fine work right there by Smith. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. cut now that's opened up on his cheek. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good looking counter punch. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. Gonzalez is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. getting caught with headshots. But Teddy, to me this is pretty simple. Move your head. Otherwise the other guy will. And he's been moving his head for him all night. <laughs> nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Smith. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. by bad intentions. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Gonzalez. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm gonna remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Cheek 
is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? A headshot blocked. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Gonzalez is doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. And there he counters back against his opponent. There by Smith. Keep it going. <laughs> nice block by bad intentions. Another flush shot up top. I know it's good to throw a lot of punches, but it's better to do what we're seeing out of him right now, and that's land when you throw. Yeah, he's making everything count. He's putting everything out there for a purpose, placing punches beautifully. Gonzalez is staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Well-placed counter punch by bad intentions. One gives one. The right hand scores well. Nice block by Bone Crusher. And a well placed counter by Smith. Counterpunch after some fine defense by Smith. Well, this round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. Uh, this is one of those fights, Teddy. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier, a little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. And a good counter by bad intentions. by bad intentions. Now that's some sharp offensive maestro work there by Smith. Excellent counter punch by Smith. Nice strike after catching one by Gonzalez. The halfway point of round number eight. Very 
clean offense from defense by Smith. to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Very nice defensive guard there. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Get your hands up. Throws a counter punch there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up on your punches. I want to see those combos. Combos. Keep this Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Blocks that belt line well. after a fine defensive effort by Smith. On the mark, the counter punch by Smith. Bad intentions has got a real uphill battle ahead of him now with a cut over his eye. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot wow just sit back and enjoy this one you can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight it goes like the first time you heard ray charles sing god bless america you knew it was special you knew you hadn't heard it before i haven't seen anything like this before nice strike after catching one by smith Well-placed counter by Smith. Offense, the counter punch by Smith. Oh, very nice, 
Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Good block by Bone Crusher. Honest with the double jab up top. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. What a good counter punch by Smith. Punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. <laughs> Teddy, you can see quite clearly that that cut is becoming a major problem for him. What does he have to do strategically here to deal with it? Well, there's three lines of defense, Joe, whether you're cut or you're not cut. One is use your legs. Get out of range a little bit. The others move your head. The others block. He has to pick one of those defensive strategies, one of those choices, and put it into place. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have the motors that never stop going. bad intentions and they're swelling around his eye wow is he defensively sound Teddy this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say tune in everybody should be watching this right I have a cell phone I might do that right now <laughs> start dialing He comes back with a right hand. Good job by drawing in 
hitting his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by bad intentions. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Blocked by Smith. He's got to know that the eye's getting worse. The swelling is really more pronounced right now, but I don't see any defensive changes. And you know what? I don't see any urgency either. You just touched on it. I don't see him where he's starting to get to the place where, you know, he's firing at the kind of rate that you would want to see a guy firing back at when he's in such a perilous position right now. He has to know that this fight is close to being stopped. He's got to start acting like a guy that's at the cliff, and he doesn't want to go over that cliff. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Bad attention. He's now battling two opponents. The guy standing opposite him trying to punch him and his eyes swelling. Yeah, he can't see what's coming at him right now. And a smart counter punch by bad intentions. Nice block by bad intentions. Blocks that belt line well. Protecting his head well with his guard. Unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Smith. defensive skill with the block by bad intentions all the rounds in the books for the official decision let's send it up to the ring Gonzalez is your winner, and he gets the nod by split decision. He gets the nod, and I think he gets a gift. It was a good one indeed.